Due to the new balance changes Expo 3 and 0 has become very popular in today's meta, because of the Archer and Knight buff, and many people do not know how to properly build a game against Expo 3 and 0. Hey there! Today I will show you a detailed instruction how to play against Expo 3 and 0 if you have Hog X Nato. I advise you to watch the video to the end and you do not have to watch 100 replays and understand how to win back from Expo, but we do not lose a second, let's go. The first thing I want to start with is who has the best chance of winning, for this I decided to refer to the site Royal Ayapi, which says that this matchup is 30 to 70 in favor of Expo, and this is the explanation. With Hog we are unlikely to pass, because his cycle is very fast compared to ours. If we decide to start Rocket Cycle, then there is a big risk that he will run us over, and if he defends his crossbow intelligently, he can deal damage with the Expo, but. If you build the right tactics of the game, we can win such an unequal matchup, let's start with the most common mistakes that players make. The first of these mistakes is not to play on the side where he attacks, in this match he will impose his game and we must play on the same side where he attacks and he will be forced to change the direction of his attack and it will play to our advantage. The next mistake is aggressive play, in this matchup it makes no sense because his cards are enough to defend and counterattack where you have to spend your elixir on it, so in this matchup you need to build a super solid defense to prevent damage from X-Bow. The third mistake is throwing a missile at his tower ahead of time to get to the advantage, it is better not to do that, it is better to build a good defense, and the rocket can be thrown only on the triple elixir. And the final mistake is poor defense, in this matchup you need to build a very solid defense, so the expo cannot bring damage. Also do not ignore such damages from the archer or spirit, they can later decide the outcome of the battle. Well you probably have a reasonable question, what cards need to defend to counter it, let's look at that too. And so, let's start with what we have to counteract the expo, as a tank we will have a valkyrie, she is the best in our deck for this, of course it must be placed where the range of the expo, here are three basic positions to tank the damage expo. The first position is in the middle of our half, a good option to take damage from the expo, but the player with the expo, can put archers at the river to kill Vok as quickly as possible, so be prepared to add to the defense something else. The second position is the bridge position, it would be a great solution if he does not have a knight in the cycle, but if he will knight to defend, you can put the executioner from expo. And the final position is near to the tower, unlike the first position, it is good because it gives us more time to hold off the expo attack. Also the best answer to the expo is rocket, but do not just throw the rocket expo, you need to add goblins after throwing the rocket, so they take the hit. But it is not worth defending in this way all the time, because we spend 8 elixir here against 6 and these cards then cannot help us in counter attack, and we have decent cards against a expo attack, but if these cards will not, then you can defend yourself in this way. Yep, the XC and Hog can also be protected, but it is not quite reliable, because such cards are easier for him to defend his X bow, so you need to use it all on the situation and wisely, for example how here you can intelligently use the Executioner to destroy the X bow. Well, I just showed you the most basic points you have to confront, now I want to show you in practice. Yes, as you may notice I filmed my gameplay against Expo in the March season since I just didn't get to play against it, but now it finally happened. It was actually better to throw Vok plus Hog, because it is 1x and it will be difficult to defend the Expo and the bottom line I would have come out on top in this situation, but I somehow got too confused and threw Vok and Rocket, it turned out not profitable. I remember that in this matchup there is no need to rush, we need to build a super solid defense, so that the Expo cannot bring any damage, but in parallel, do not forget to cycle the logs on his tower. But I tried in practice to defend against a crossbow with a hog and XE, though I thought he would defend with a Tesla or a knight, but he chose to play rather passively. Well, I will also repeat once again and show that you should not miss the spirit, because this match will decide the outcome of the remaining HP. Also, we have to play on the same side against him, so I threw the log on the right side instead of the left, although it would seem that it would be logical to throw the log where the least health, but in this matchup must be so act. Well, here I was able to demonstrate this combination, it is quite effective against him and he did the right thing to decide to play from the defense. I continue to play passively, while remembering to play on one side and cycle logs to his tower. Here I think it would have been better if I threw a tornado on the right tower to deal extra damage while hitting archers, but the XC wasn't bad either. I did not expect such a move from him, even wanted to throw a rocket in response to it on the right tower, but thought that before 3x is better not to do so and decided to put it so that he quickly ran to Tesla and destroyed it, and there may still have time to hit a expo. In this matchup I was in no hurry to spend Valkyria, because it is probably the best card to tank crossbow damage, so I cycled spirits, logs and goblins. Here I probably make the big mistake of not defending so advantageously against a expo, you don't need to defend often with a rocket if you have good cards against a expo. I also made a mistake with the ice spirit against archers, I should have put it close to the archers, then it would have jumped. Here I just put a hog to destroy the Tesla faster. To be honest I thought he would attack the left side, since I have the least health there. I realized during the battle that I was defending myself too often with a rocket, so I had already started to put a Vok from the bridge waiting for a knight to counter with Exe. 
Here I repeat the action again with the hog but now under the cover of the XC, and the tornado I had to throw so that the archer was near on the tower, so the executioner's axe hit her in the tower of the enemy. Now I have to defend I put the Valkyrie in this position, so she has more time to tank damage. And now we need to put the hog and throw the log, because now he has skeletons in the cycle. Here I think I made the mistake of putting Vok in the bridge against the X-Bow, because he now has a knight and Tesla in the cycle which are good against her and because of this I missed the first time in the game damage from the X-Bow. I took into account my previous mistake and put a Valkyria next to my tower, and there with the help of Hog and Exe I destroyed the X-Bow and in parallel with this I do damage with a log and tornado. And so, with 10 seconds left, I need to put the Valkyria first and then throw a rocket and from the last effort to defend, but I made the most offensive mistake, I should have thrown a tornado on the tower and then I would have won.